and what's up and thank you so much for visiting my channel. So guys, for today's video, I am again going to do a DIY because I think that after completing 1K, I should do a video which is actually very loved by you and it is going to be DIY plus art and craft. So, DIY plus art and craft means today we are going to make a DIY art and craft stationery kit art and craft kit anything like that so till now i have tried a lot and lot of craft kits in which you get different type of material uh, but uh, every kit costs more than 500 or 600 rupees which is all uh, so today i'm going to just make a diy art and craft kit at home and it will cost you less than 200 rupees i'm just betting you so yeah in this there will be same material as you get from the shopkeeper even it will be better because you will be able to customize it according to your needs and uh, yeah in this uh, i have used uh, very less uh, ready-made products mostly i have curated the products by my own see you guys and uh, now coming on to the collaboration part guys today i have collabed with two channels actually and two channels are nandani creations and all in one creativity with gaushya so guys please check out those two channels they are very interesting and uh, both of the channels are very nice they make different type of diy videos and also they uh, organize very cute cute giveaways as well for their fam so you can check out the channels and the link is given in the description description <laughs> so link, link is given in the description box so please go and check it out so yes guys without any further ado let's get started saying that how can you create a craft kit for yourself so yes guys let's get started first of all i'm going to take these strips of golden glitter foam sheets and these were left from my last project now i'm going to use this type of a star punch so that i can punch out some stars if you don't have golden glitter foam sheet then definitely you can go with normal foam sheets and you can also go with a4 size paper now i'm going to cut out some mini mini stars from the punch you can use any punch which you have if you don't have punch then you can just randomly do them by your hand with the help of a scissor but it will not give you as clean look as a punch will give so that's why you can use these punches to cut out some cute cute designs and these punches are very affordable only 40 rupees for one one punch so yes guys they are even very affordable if you can uh, buy the whole set now here i just punched out a lot lot of cute cute little glitter stars and now i'm just going to pack them inside a ziploc pouch here i was just cutting the extra ziploc pouch with the help of a paper knife don't use paper knife if you are se under seven years and here are our cute cute stars now i'm going to use this orange foam sheet and with the help of a pencil i'm just going to cut out a little rectangle from the foam sheet here i'm going to use scissors Sorry, here I am using the paper cutter. If you don't have paper cutter, then definitely you can use the scissors. And if you are uh, seven years old or younger than that, so then definitely you should not go with these type of paper cutters. You can definitely take help from your elderly. Now, uh, from this rectangle, I am going to cut out some strips. And these are going to be foam sheet strips, which are very useful in the projects. So yes, guys. Try to make them of equal size, like equal width and length. If you can't understand any step from the whole process, then definitely you can email me, email ID in the description box. So here I'm having three strips of orange foam sheet and here I made many more. So I got three from the white foam sheet, three from blue foam sheet and three from orange ones. And now I'm just going to pack them in the Ziploc pouch. If you don't have Ziploc pouches, then definitely you can ignore this step. After that here I am going to take this uh, 100 GSM A4 paper, a pink one and an orange one and uh, from this also I am going to cut out some strips and we are making some designer strips right now. So here I am having this orange strip and this very cute mini uh, punch and uh, this is a flower punch so I am going to punch some flowers out on equal intervals on the strip. So yes guys. And I'm going to cut out the excess. If you're not able to understand, please email me right now. And yeah, here we go. So here's our designer strip. And please don't throw these type of mini flowers which are left after punching. So yes, 
So cut out different patterns on each strip. Here I was cutting out these emojis on the pink strip. And for the bottom part here, I'm not using the normal scissor. Here I'm using this designer scissor, which is easily available in any type of a craft store. Says. So our cute, cute uh, uh, strips are ready, and now we are just going to pack it in a Ziploc pouch. After that, we are going to take these remains which were left after punching and these are very very cute. So we are just going to take them and we are going to pack them inside a mini Ziploc pouch. So yeah, very useful, right? Now here I'm going to use this A4 sheet which is in white color. Actually, this is a piece of A4 sheet, sis. After that, here I'm going to use a circular punch and I'm going to cut out some circles so you can see that how useful these punches are. Now I'm going to take some black sheet and I'm going to cut a little smaller circles and then I'm going to stick them on the white circles and I'm going to make some googly eyes type of thing. They are not very similar to googly eyes but yeah, uh, these are a little bit. And now we are just going to pack them inside a Ziploc pouch. Now here I'm taking these ice cream sticks which are self-painted. If you don't have self-painted ones then you can definitely paint them by yourself and here I'm just going to pack them inside a Ziploc pouch. You know that how useful these are. Now here I'm taking this A4 sheet, 100 GSM and after that I'm going to take a scale and my pencil and then I'm going to just cut out a little rectangle uh, from the A4 sheet. Here I was using scissors. So with the help of my tape right now, here I'm using uh, my tape and sketch pen to make some circles and then I'm going to color them uh, with the help of my crayons. I'm just coloring them in different colors. You can use either one color or different type of colors as I am doing. So yes, and we are making some cut out emoji uh, stickers right now. So here I'm making different different type of emojis on each circle and you can just cut them and then you can use them for the project which you are making. I'm just going to make some cute cute cheeks and now I'm going to use this designer scissor to cut the borders. And then I'm just going to pack them in a Ziploc pouch. If you uh, don't want to make emojis then you can make flowers, anything cute which you like. Now here I'm going to take this piece of plastic which I got from a polythene bag and then I'm just going to stick these type of beads and cute cute stickers on it. These are reusable to be honest. Say yes guys. So I just sticked some ready-made stickers on it. If you want me to show that how to make uh, uh, DIY stickers, then definitely tell me in the comment section. Now here I'm going to take these uh, thermocol balls and I'm going to pack them inside a Ziploc pouch. And these are very easily available in any craft store. You can get these for 15 rupees only. And now we are just going to pack these thermocol balls inside a Ziploc pouch. And here we go. After that from my bead box here I'm taking some beads and now we are just going to put them inside a matchstick box and I'm just going to decorate the box with the help of some golden glitter washi tape and uh, yes I'm going to de decorate the cover also with the silver tape and yes here is our very beautiful container small little container for our little little beads so who will say that this was a matchstick box before. After that here I am taking some ready made origami paper, this is easily available in the local market just for 10 rupees. You can even go with designer origami sheets and yes. After that here I am taking the orange uh, A4 sheet 100 USM again and here I am cutting out some strips, try to make them equal and here we are making DIY quilling strips. And I am going to cut out some strips from the pink uh, paper as well. Now we are just going to pack them uh, together. You can use different type of colored strips uh, also. And then I'm just going to put them inside a Ziploc pouch. So they were not inserting properly when I was doing like this. So I just bent them so that they can go inside easily. And here we go. Now let's add all the stuff. So here I'm going to take some origami sheet. And here I'm going to take these DIY colored strips. And I'm going to add these DIY uh, strips, which are designer ones. These DIY foam sheet strips. And uh, now we are going to add these self-painted ice cream sticks. And uh, these thermocol balls. These type of googly type of eyes. And these type of cutout emoji stickers. 
we are adding each thing in this good quality plastic box now we are adding these bit bead box mini stars which we made and i'm going to add a black sketch pen uh, toothpicks which are very useful for the projects these type of tapes and this uh, ready made stickers and a craft punch i am going to add this emoji pencil you can know how to make this by seeing my diy emoji kit video here i am adding this liquid glue and this fevi stick i am also going to add this paper cutter you can decrease or increase any item in this kit i am going to add this little scissor i am going to add this pen and this uh, big one scissor and we are just going to pack it and we added all the things in this transparent box here i was adding a mini uh, cutter as well and here we go very cute right yes guys this was the kit and i'm so sorry for making this video a long one because uh, see art and craft has a lot and lot of items which you have to use so today i have shared some of them i really hope that you like this video and if yes then don't forget to subscribe to my to my channel and also press that bell button so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and 